Ooh, okay, here we go. Hi guys, welcome to my brand new channel. I'm Paige and this is Paige on Purpose. A very wise woman, Miss Dolly Parton, once said, find out who you are and do it on purpose. It occurred to me that I've actually been guilty of sleepwalking through most of my life, letting other people or my circumstances define who I am and where I'm headed. Uh, what's the saying? Um, if you aim for the moon, even if you miss, you'll land upon the stars. <laughs> you won't land upon the stars, but you'll land up. <laughs> you'll end up among the stars. Oh my goodness, I'm so terrible at this. Let's see. If you aim for the moon, even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. There you go. Okay. Or better yet, and it might be easier to say, if you don't aim at anything, you're sure to miss it 100% of the time. So the word purpose can actually be used in two different ways. It can mean to go after something with determination, right? So um, some objective, like she set out with purpose or she set out with determination. So that's one way to use purpose. It could also mean the reason for which something exists, right? So for example, the purpose of a knife is to cut. It wouldn't make a very good soup spoon. That doesn't mean it's useless. It was just simply intended for another purpose. So anyway, I'm gonna take Dolly's advice. I hope that by watching this channel, you'll do the same. The actual focus of this channel is going to be whole health. How each part plays on and intertwines with the other. So, you know, we're not just simply physical bodies and we have emotions, we have deep thoughts, uh, we have desires, we have a need for spiritual growth. So my videos won't just be about weight loss. They won't be weight loss recipes and techniques or what I eat in a day or watch me shrink. You know, sure, there will be some of that on here, but along with the watch me shrink physically videos, there's gonna be watch me grow spiritually videos. You know, along with the what I eat in a day videos, there's going to be what I consume or take in to my mind, to my heart. So this channel is actually going to address physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health and kind of optimizing all of them together. Please like this video, <laughs> uh, click the subscribe button, and that way you'll be notified when new videos are released. So anyway, six weeks ago and 23 pounds ago, I set out with determination on a new journey. I took a good hard look in the mirror. I asked myself these questions, right? Who am I? How did I get here? And why will this time be any different? So I knew I had to be crystal clear on these three things, right? And I knew I needed to be crystal, crystal clear on my purpose, my destination. If I wanted any of these short-term changes to become long-term changes. So who am I? Well, I'm a broken person with way too many flaws to count. But along with that, I also have several unique gifts. Sorry, I was just moving my notes there. <laughs> um, I'm a wounded soul. I've got unattractive scars in a bunch of different places, but I'm also beautiful at the same time. I can be scary selfish, <laughs> but I also have overflowing empathy for those who are struggling and a strong desire to make others feel valued and appreciated and cherished. I'm a total mess <laughs> with failures racking up all around me, but I've also got some pretty brilliant talents. I've been a knife imitating a soup spoon for the longest time, and I've been considering myself to be a failure the whole time, but not anymore. Anyway, so that's a brief summary of who I am, right? So how did I get here physically? why did I gain this much weight? Like, how did I gain this weight? 
Now, true, I've battled chronic illnesses. I was born with a disorder uh, that's impacted much of my life. Um, and I've been placed on medications for that issue, which encourages weight gain. I've also struggled with hormonal issues, um, severe endometriosis, PCOS, deficiencies in my blood, all of which make it more difficult to lose weight, but not impossible. Um, I've become a victim. I, I had a victim mentality about all of those things. I just gave in. I let stress overwhelm me and depression really take root. Um, all of these things just made the scale go up and up and up and up. Um, anyway, so it's good to examine how I got here, right? But also to acknowledge that each of the things that brought me here can be overcome. Now, other things did contribute to how I got here, but we'll get into that later. Anyway, this is a good start. Okay, other weight loss attempts have failed and I've yo-yoed it up and down and up and down for years. So why will this time be any different, right? My fire, my fuel, it's completely different this time, you guys. In the past, my motivators have all been negative ones. I hate being tired all the time. Oh, I've gotten so fat, I'm disgusting. I don't wanna embarrass my family. So guilt, shame, and self-hatred have fueled all of my attempts to lose weight in the past. My self-talk was really angry, condemning. I was mean and hateful to myself. And I made it a habit of being impatient, being critical, um, just being mean to myself. So no wonder I didn't take care of myself. No one takes care of things they just simply don't care for. Um, Anyway, I can't remember where I heard this and I can't find online where it's been attributed to anyone, um, but I just love this. Are you ready? People don't grow or change in a constructive direction when motivated by guilt, shame, or hate. Boom, that's it. Bingo, I'm a living example of all of that. You can't hate yourself into loving yourself. Am I right? I mean, you just can't hate your way into loving. So anyway, here's what I found. Being pushed by the painful things, the negative things, that works really well for a while. The disgust, the anger, it helped to drive me forward. Um, it helped me to make those changes really quickly. But any success I achieved would actually decrease my motivation over time. Because as the pain level dropped, so did the motivation level. Every time, without fail, right? It makes sense. So what does that lead to? Can anyone say yo-yo dieting? Up and down and up and down and up and down. So I flipped everything in my mind. Um, everything that was motivating me, right? So instead of, I don't wanna be an embarrassment to my family, it's, I really wanna make my family proud right? Instead of, I hate being tired all the time. Now it's, I desire the energy to get up and make this day awesome. So by flipping the statements in my head and letting the positive motivation just flow, um, every single success builds on the other, right? So with the bad, it was letting the pain decrease, the motivation with it. Now, with the positive, everything just builds on the other and you gain momentum, you gain motivation. So anyway, over the last six weeks, my motivation has actually increased with every single little victory. Instead of being pushed by my pain, I'm being pulled forward by my desires. My self-talk has become much more loving. My actions towards myself are more gentle, more caring, and my health is actually already improving due to this simple mind shift. And this is another thing, right? Because I've identified my desires so completely, I now have something to run towards, something I can keep in front of me and press on to get there. The old method I used was like running away from something, 
something that I feared or something that could hurt me, uh, something that would cause me greater pain, you know, like a bear, right? So sure, I'd make a fast break out of the gate. I'd run like the wind until that bear was no longer just breathing down my neck, right? I'd get comfortable. I'd eventually get back to my old habits. And then here comes that blasted bear again. <laughs> and I have to take off running. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna give a great real life example of what I mean, right? Um, so last week I had something in my fridge that was definitely not good for my weight loss goal. Someone from work had given me something I'm choosing not to eat during my weight loss reduction phase. Anyway, I thanked them for their kindness in giving it to me, and I did bring it home with the intention of giving it to my niece. Now, mind you, I'm five weeks into my journey at this point, and I've been doing really well at not going off of my plan. But after dinner that night, the food literally began to call to me. <laughs> I mean, it called to me from the fridge. No lie, and it was loud too. Uh, couldn't be ignored. So the bargaining, the bargaining began. And you know what that is. If you've ever struggled with any weight or if you've ever been on a diet or anything like that, you know, the, I've been so good. Don't I deserve just a little bitty treat? <laughs> or just a little bit won't hurt. Um, anyway, there was a true internal struggle going on in my head. And the devil on one shoulder was pleading with me to reward myself. Don't deprive yourself anymore, he said. And he absolutely succeeded in making me feel like a sad little victim for not being able to enjoy that which I desired most. The angel on the other shoulder wasn't much help either. The angel just kept sitting there judging me Judily. <laughs> and you know the look Judge Judy gets when ridiculous is going on in her courtroom all around her. That angel knew I was just seconds away from giving in. Marching to the fridge and diving headfirst into that bowl. But then stop. One little question came to mind and it pulled me down from the ledge that I'd been dancing on. And this is the question, you ready? Will eating this, albeit delicious dish, bring you closer to your goal or move you further away from your goal? So the little devil on my shoulder had told me not to deprive myself of that which I desired most. But here's the thing, that which I desired most wasn't the food. <laughs> it wasn't the food that was calling to me. That which I desire most is the healthier life that I'm currently wholeheartedly pursuing. So see, identifying those desires gave me something to want more than the evil, <laughs> which was lurking in my fridge. Anyway, so why am I coming to YouTube to tell my story? I'm obviously not a pro. <laughs> I'm not super accomplished. I'm definitely not the Yoda of weight loss, but I came here because I'm on a journey. You guys, if I know I'm doing this in the dark, it'll be easier to quit when things get tough. Um, Plus, I'm breaking out of my comfort zone. I'm doing something that causes me a little bit of fear. And in doing this, I think that's a good thing because I'm overcoming my fear and I'm going to hopefully achieve something I didn't necessarily think I could. You know, having the bravery to put myself out there like this. Anyway, what it all boils down to is kind of this. I know I was not put here on this earth to kill myself slowly with a knife and a fork. Maybe this channel will help to fulfill or even reveal a small part of my purpose, my greater purpose. And if it can help inspire, motivate, or even touch one person out there in a positive way, I'd consider that a win. 
If you like this video, click the like button and please subscribe if you'd like to follow my journey. Also, I've got a Facebook page if you want to check that out called Page on Purpose and my Instagram page on purpose. Um, and I will put all those links in the description below. Um, and that way you guys can go ahead and follow me there. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to go out there and slay my goals today. And I hope you do the same. So have a great day.